Hello, beautiful, 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 intelligent black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day, this day, this day was just a beautiful, beautiful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful, wonderful loved ones, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. <clears throat> the question is... And I have gotten this question many times throughout my many decades on this planet called Earth while I am still on this side of the river, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Dr. Francis Cress Wellsin. Dr. Francis Cress Wellsin, and you spell her last name W E L S I N G. She was a beautiful, intelligent, well rounded, well schooled black woman. And she did a lot of writing, she did a lot of study. In the, area, in the area of psychiatry and psychology and real black history, real African history. And throughout her research, she established this premise and this conclusion. That is that white folks, that white folks are undoubtedly a genetic mutant, a genetic mutant albino population. And I will say that again. White folks are undoubtedly a genetic mutant albino population. That is not an insult. That is fact. That is true. And one of the things that I will do here at the Thrasher Way is tell the truth regardless of who is uncomfortable with those truths. White folks are albino mutants from the from the original black human H U E M A N. White folks are albino mutants from the original black human beings, B-E-I-N-G-S, causing the formation of a mankind and a hue mankind. And this statement, according to Dr. Wilson, is given strong support by the work of the anthropologist, and his name is Louis, L-O-U-I-S, Leakey, L-E-A-K-E-Y. Do some research. Look up the anthropologist name, Louis Leakey who stated in his book entitled By the Evidence By the Evidence that was the name of his memoirs in book form and they were written according to his experiences 
from 1932 to 1951. And he stated emphatically that human life began in Africa. Human life began in Africa. And that the first human beings were black folks. People that looked like me. People that looked like you, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Hence is why sometimes in some of my audio presentations, I have stated that black folks like me, black folks like you, are descendants of the only 100% humans that originated on the African continent. Human life began in Africa. The first human beings on this planet were black folks. From the modern science of genetics, according to Dr. Welson, we know that it is possible for all pigmented population groups to produce white albino mutants. And I will say that again. It is possible for all melanated pop- population groups to produce white albino mutants. We also know, according to Dr. Wilson, that it is impossible for albino mutants to produce black offsprings. Hence is why you never see white folks producing black offsprings. All you get from that procreation is more albino mutants. Melanated people have the biological, biological, the DNA, the genetic ability to produce albino mutants. And this was reported in National Geographic and the National and the, it was National Geographic and the Natural History magazines and it said that recently found in Africa was the first known albino primate infant who was the offspring of its cold C-O-A-L black parent mother and father. This evidence strongly supports that If a higher primate, in this instance, a pair of gorillas can produce a platinum blonde, blue-eyed, pink-skinned albino, then certainly this could also be the pattern by which blonde, blue-eyed, pink-skinned, 
white men and women also produced. As genetic mutants or, or albino mutants from the black norm. The normal pigmentation is black skin, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Don't allow white folks to convince you otherwise. The normal skin pigmentation is black folks, highly melanated folks that look like me, that look like you, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. The norm for the entire human family is to possess melanated skin. That's the norm for the entire human family. The norm for the entire human family is to possess melanated skin, pigmented skin my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. The albino mutants that easily could have evolved in Africa either could have been chased northward by their pigmented parents and kinsmen or they could have been migrated northward on their own, away from the high intensity of the sun rays of Africa, where they are non-pigmented albino skin would not be damaged by the less intense sun rays in the northern countries now called Europe. Now called Europe. My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Europe Europe is today recognized as the home of white folks because that's where the albino mutants moving northward from the continent of Africa ended up in a much colder climate where there were less less sunlight and less intensity of the sun rays so that their albino non-pigmented skin would hold up, would not be burned, would not explode on them. The main point of this presentation is to engage in discussion and to point out that white skin albino people were most probably the genetic mutant offspring from black parents. That is the main objective, intent of this audio presentation. In other words, black males and black females were their parents, the original albino mutants 
non-pigmented skin were produced by black parents. The original mothers and fathers of the albino or or now called white population. The marriage of albinos with another subsequent the marriage of albinos with another albino subsequently produced what is now known as the white race, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. If this description of the origin of white folks is accurate, as this this writer, Dr. Wilson, strongly believed, then deep within the unconscious psyche of the white collective is is an awareness of their origin amongst blacks. Their psyche tell them that blacks were there parents and that they white folks were the defective albino offsprings of black parents. The white male the prime organizer of the white supremacy system is thus aware, although perhaps at a deep unconscious level, that his original mother was a black woman, just as his original father was a black man. Therefore, in spite of the the overt psychological need to repress this fundamental knowledge of their origin. The conscious recognition of which would necessitate a confrontation with the genetic mutant and genetic defective status of skin whiteness. White males have exposed their unconscious awareness by referring to black women in this world as mammies and aunts or auntie and referring to black males as pappy and uncle. This term cannot reflect true simple endearment as they occur in the presence of degradation, enslavement, oppression, and black destruction. And furthermore, white males strongly supported black females suckling white babies, nursing white babies, and also endorsed endorsed black men and women caring for white children, the extension of the white male himself. And this close contact of white child 
particularly with the black female, was supported by the white male in spite of the degraded slave and oppressed status the white collective imposed upon the black collective. The original human beings were black folks, people that look like me, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Just a few lines that I have, that I have collected from reading Dr. Francis Cress Wellson's book called The Isis Papers, The Keys to the Colors. A fantastic read, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. It's The Isis Papers, authored by Dr. Francis Cress Wellson. It's a fantastic read. All that I have talked about within this audio presentation was excerpts from reading her book. That's all I have on this one.